Hi there saxophones, today is actually a rainy day and it's a great day then to practice the song It's Raining, It's Pouring. It's on page six in your Songs for Mastery. I'm gonna demonstrate it once and then we'll go through count, say, finger play together. I'm gonna to use a metronome because one of the main things in this song is that you've gotta be counting and keeping your notes the right length. We're in three, four time. We've got quarter notes, they get one count each. We've got dotted half notes, they get three counts. We've got half notes that get two counts. And so um, the metronome helps us keep a steady beat. So here we go. Take a listen. One, ready. Now, as I said, the counting of this song and, and keeping that rhythm component is really key, and that's what makes this song uh, challenging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two fingers and kind of just tap on our palm so we're feeling that beat, and we're gonna make sure that we give notes their right length. So I want you to say the words. Let me demonstrate the beginning here. So you'll go, hey, look, it's raining. It's pouring. And on a word like rain, where it gets three counts, because it's a dotted half note, you're gonna tap your hand three times. On the ing, you're gonna tap your hand two times. On the its, you're gonna only tap your hand once because it's only one count. So this is different from other songs we've done where all the notes kind of have the same length. So you've gotta really count and be aware of the beat as this goes through. So let's try that together. One, ready, say the words. Hey, look. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, he went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. So that's our counting that we have to do. Now the next thing we want to do is make sure we know the names of our notes. So we'll go through and say those notes and as we do it, D, 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 B, E, D, you've got to make sure that you're thinking about how long each of those notes are. And that's usually what messes students up when they're learning this song, so they're not thinking about the length of the note. So point them in your music while you do it, that'll help you keep your place. One, ready, go. D, 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 B, E, D, B, C, D, B, E, D, B, B, C, C, A, A, C, C, A, A, D, D, C, B, B, A, B, G. So those are the notes, and then we have our fingers. So the D is when we put all the fingers down and our thumb on that key back here. So D, 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 and then we go to the B, one finger, and then all the fingers come back down again except for this bottom finger to go to the E. So thumb and three on top, two on the bottom for the E, back to D. So we got E's, D's, and B's on that first line, and then on the bottom line we're gonna go to a C to an A. Remember when you go from C to A, you're just gonna lift up that pointer finger, C, A. C, A, and then D, D, C, B, B, A, B, G. So we're just going back through the notes that we already know there. So let's say our notes and move our fingers. I'll hold my saxophone up so you can see it. You don't have to hold yours up. One, ready, go. D, 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 B, E, D, B, C, D, B, E, D, B, B, C, C, A, A, C, C, A, A, D, D, C, B, B, A, B, G. Okay, now let's go ahead and try playing it together. One, ready, go.
again, as you practice this, really focus in on thinking about how long each note is, keeping a steady beat. A metronome is a very helpful tool. The metronome in, that I was using was 105 beats per minute. I can't remember if I said that earlier, but that's the tempo that I was going here. As you get better, you can speed it up, but that's probably a good place to start. Good luck as you practice.